Welcome to MojoTube TV. We're here for our second matchup in Class B action between uh, Shellmont Sabres versus the Schuylerville Black Horses. Number one seed Shellmont will take on the Black Horses tonight. The Sabres are led by Shane O'Dell, who's averaging 29 points. Eight points a game. He's third in section two in scoring. And the Black Horses are led by a bunch of guys. They got like four people right now, four players on the team that's averaging double figures. So we're going to find out who those players are once this game gets started. But Coach L. Lociano is the coach of the uh, Shellmont Sabres. They're 20 and 1, first place in the, uh, first place in the Colonial Council. And the Black Horses are coached by Matthew Stanford. They're 13 and eight in the Foothills Conference. Fourth place finish. Coach, your thoughts quickly. Well, it's, a, it's good to go out here and see Shelmont. We had a chance to see them before. We know how they can give it up. High power offense led, like you said, by Odell or Randall. And those guys, that cast of green also over there. So it'd be interesting. I haven't seen much of Scholarville. Let's see if Scholarville hang out with those guys. All right. We'll see you guys. Okay, jump ball's about to get off. Wow, a collision right there, right away by the Black Horses running to a Sabre there. Show my Sabres in the white jerseys will go to our left. Black Horses go to our right. Ordell attacks right away. Gets two buckets real quick there, Coach. Yes, he does. Right off the rip. He's downside. They, they might run a feature going down inside. Seeing that Skylarville really doesn't have a lot of size. Nick Bunnison scores for the Black Horses. Randall gets inside the paint. Stuby looks at it. Odell looks to attack. Skips wide open. Scrub goes in. The green, green spins. Happy feet going other way. Okay, the ball's being worked around the horn. Rutland, lefty, just saw him bounce there, goes in. Odell attacks right away, coach, avoids the charge. Lele! Comes right back at him. 6.35 to go, coach, tie game, 4-4. Rutland swings the ball to Sherman. Sherman gets it back to Rutland. Rutland fires away. Fire in the hole! This guy Rutland's a baller, coach, the lefty. No joke out there. He knocked down 53, three, 58 three-pointers, coach, in the season for the Black Horses, coach. He can knock down a three-ball. That, that lefty has a pretty stroke. And there's still, Randall tracks it down. Shelmont is down seven to four. Randall, scoop shot, drops in. His first two points of the game, seven to six. Black horses are up. Nice little move inside by Randall there. Get to the till, get the bucket to drop for him off the glass. Looks like they're in a little matchup zone here. Nick Buzz, Buzzsheen loses the ball, trying to get to the rack. Turnover, going the other way. Randall, the 6'4 point guard, we're bringing up for the Sabres. Struby looks at it, pass to Randall. Oh, Randall knocks down the three ball. Fifth point of the game, we got 5.15 to go, first quarter. Nine to seven, Sabres are up over the Black Horses. Looks at it, air ball, nothing but oxygen. Sherman couldn't find anything. Sabres will take it out. Yeah, I like Randall. Randall likes to pick his spots when he's going to assert himself, and he's usually 
Yep. Asserts himself in those right spots. Coach he seems like it's calculated, doesn't it? Yeah. He's like a very, very calculated so. player. Yep. Okay, Struby has it. On the set play here. Oh, far out shot. Oh, brick. Came off hard. I don't know if that was calculated. <laughs> <laughs> well, the shot was. I know the execution wasn't. High hand in his face, unable to go down. Rebound. Boy. Randall gets it on the break. He goes up, lay, lay, left hand. Nice check out by Odell there. Good Randall. pass there by Odell. 11 7. Looks like this lead is about to inch up a little bit here, coach. If the Black Horse is not careful. And Randall gets his seventh point of the quarter that fast. So he's we got, we got 420. Yep, yeah, we got 420 in the clock. First quarter. 11 to 7. Sabres are up. They work the ball around the horn. Jack Neumer has it, or Neymar. Rutland kicks it out, another extra pass. Loses the ball. Odell picks it up, he pushes on the break. He drives it all the way to the rack, avoids the charge, misses the lele, gets his own rebound, puts it up. Count it. That's the thing about him, coach. He's right back off his feet so fast after he takes a shot. He's so many, so many kids, coach, when they shoot a shot, they vacate the area before the ball goes between the net. That's you know, he stays there until it actually goes in the net. That's a fact. And he's good at that. He yes, gets it he right is. back and gets it right back up on the till and gets the bucket. Okay, go 13-7, and the Sabres are up, coach. Um, what do you think here that the Black Horses need to do um, before they get blown out of the water here? You know, this this uh, this show my team go that beat some quality teams all year. You know, they beat a couple double A teams. They beat this Gyuna 70-37. to 37. They beat Troy 78-76. They beat, and they lost a close game to LaSalle in overtime, 80-69. So these guys can ball against the, the big dog. Definitely. You know what I mean? And um, what do you think these guys need to do? Well, right now, Skylarville needs to make sure they're protecting their offensive rebound and offensive glass. They're a very kind of small team here, Coach. And so with Odell being the size that he are, and the athletic ability of Green and Randall, they got to protect their offensive glass and make sure they limit the uh, Sabres to one shot at the most two. But they gotta definitely protect their glass right here. Buzz, Buzzing, yeah, Buzzing looks to penetrate. Bump fake by Neiman. Picks it up with three ball. And knocks it in by Ashberger. Ashberger. And they gotta be able to knock down shots like that when they become open, coach. Yeah, he came in the game knocking 18 down. This is 19th one by Ashberger. Or Ashberger, I'm sorry. Randall surveys the floor, tries to dump it in. Good defense there by Rutland. He sniffed that out. Ball's worked around the horn, coach. Yeah, yeah. Bussey looks to penetrate, yeah, spin moves. Move Too many steps going the other way. Coach, I don't know if he lift, did he lift the pivot foot up? I didn't or? think he did. Yeah, hey, I thought it was a good play there. I thought he kept it, kept held there, kept tight. A little probably premature fall there, kind of anticipating the travel there. Yeah. OK, Randall will start the offense. Odell says start on the other side, to Struby's side. A little back door here for Randall, for Odell. Yep. Oh, way to come back to the ball, Randall. Struby, excellent free throw, um, three-point shooter. Turns it down. Oh. Randall nearly got his uh, pocket pick there. Got to be careful, the little guy's on you. Yeah, they have an opportunity right there to run that back door. If they don't get the back door, they look to feature Odell on a post-up right there. And they missed the post-up situation right there. He came wide open, too. He cleared out that whole side. Skip pass to Green. Green gives it back to uh, Randall. Fights for it. Shot clock violation. Good defense by the Black Horses, coach. After knocking on that three. And that's the Sabres' third turnover of the quarter, coach. Yeah, the Black Horses coach plays some, you know, plays some ranked teams as well. In Class B, you know, Gloversville's been ranked in the top 25 um, in the last couple of weeks. They were ranked at the highest, I believe, 22. And they um, they lost to Gloversville, 70-75. Uh, to 75. They lost to Glens Falls, who's ranked number two in Class B. Uh, or, I'm sorry, three in Class B, 88-92. Lost to Gloversville, again, second time they played, 54-63. Uh, lost to uh, Glens Falls, again, the second time, 83-98. So, they have some competition as well that they played this season. That's a fact. I messed with that last foul was on. Rutland goes up, knocks it in. That foul was on Darnell Green. His first personal foul, team's first. Second one's good. 
Rutgers an 88.8% .8 free throw shooter, coach. You see right, you see right, right there. This guy is pure. And you got a know, smooth the scores stroke. that you indicated shows that that Schuylerville team is a, is a viable team, coach. Yeah, Boyle turns it away. Then he gets the steal right back from uh, Bunshee. Black horse to get a steal and turn it right back over. 15 12, 148 to go, first quarter. Sabres are up. Another turnover. Boyle got belled out there. No way he should be trying to dribble that ball between two players there. They hold the ball and give it to Odell or give it to Randall Struby. Give it to a guard. That fouls on Sherman, his first team's first. And that's the Black Horse's fourth turnover as well in the game. So each team has four turnovers thus far. We're reaching under well, 130 to play. First quarter. Oh, they find Boyle inside. Nice look inside by the Sabres. Nice head fake there, too, to get a guy up off his feet and then come in and cash in on it. That was definitely um, an issue there, Coach, with the defense there. He was too wide open. Missed assignment happened there, Coach. 1-10 to play, 17-12. Sabres are starting to increase the lead. Must need a basket right here. Unable to go down. Randall tracks it down, pushes on the break. Struvy fakes the pass, looks to go to the rack. He goes all the way to the rack, gets fouled. He will shoot two at the line. That's well in first team, second, since Sanford to the line. Sanford's the guy who provides some outside power for them. Yeah. Down the three wall. Oh, I said Struby, didn't I? That's Stanford. He's 73.9% free throw shooter. Not to them. 6-1 junior guard. He came in knocking 19 uh, threes down. He knocked down the fourth most on the team. Under 50 seconds to go, coach. First quarter, 19-12. Black Horse looking for a basket here. Gets Ordell in the air, didn't shoot it. Hash Barger didn't knock it down, the three ball. Randall tracks it down. Under 35 seconds, coach. We got Trent Randall in the game, the sophomore guard for the Sabres. Shot clock and game clock is two-second differential. Looked like they were running down and try to hold for at least one shot. They're working around the horn. We're under 10 seconds here. Under eight seconds. Got it still. Rutland having trouble, throws it up, no good. 19-12, Sabres are up with the, with the advantage here, Coach. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's like one of those games is where um, Skylarville is battling on the Shelmont team, but the Shelmont team being as good as they are, you can see they're in the first period with a seven-point advantage, and you look like it, and it doesn't even look like it should be a seven-point advantage right now for them, but the kind of college team that they are, you can see why with Odell and Randall and them coming together and doing their thing. So, Seven-point lead at this juncture. All right. All right, about to trigger it in. Black Horses has it to start the second quarter. Bushing drives it, kicks it to the corner, wide open jumper, knocks it in. A harsh barger. Third three of the, game, the half right now. That's his third or his second? That's his second. Okay. Third, that's their third of the game as a team. Right. Oh, nice high low game. Pump oh, fake by Randall. Randall. Good pass there inside. Twenty-one fifteen. Sabres are up. They switch off on, um, they play good switching defense too, coach. Long three, clanks off the rim. And Odell pushes it down the throat. 
with the Lele coach. He puts so much pressure on the defense. He sure does. He does it in a methodical way, too, coach, like surgical. <laughs> yeah, and, and Rodell slides his feet to stop the defender, I mean, the offender from attacking him to the rim. Harris Barger, who knocked down two threes, looked at it, passed to Rutland. Rutland is peering from out there, coach. That yes, kid's yes, shot yes. is nice. I like watching him shoot. Yes, yes, indeed. He got a beautiful release. We got 6.15 to go in the third, in the second quarter. Odell spots the three, trying to get it right back. No good. It's the posterior. Rebound, Black Horses. Rutland gets it again, spots up right away, and it's good! Wow, coach. This kid can knock it down, he coach. He can knock it down. He can knock it down. He pulled him within two points here, coach. 23 21, under 550 to go. They're working around the horn here, coach. The defense by the um, by the black was like a zone defense here, coach. What do you think? They're in the zone. He gets grabbed, going. So he called it on the floor. Looks like that's on Rutland. That's his second. So he don't want what coach does here. Yeah, he don't want to lose that guy. He shipped the coach off too. He tell him I'm good. He gave him a thumbs up. I'm good. Can he trust him right now, coach? Coach, it's a personal relationship that they have with each other. <laughs> he has to more than I know. Right that's now. right. Some guys give you that thumb up and it's all good. Some guys give you that thumb up and then they be sitting on the bench with three fouls next to you. <laughs> right. So, Randall uses his 6'4 frame. Oh, and he battles for it. You can't fall asleep on these sabers. Struby, wide open, coach. Comes up short. Here, got the smallest guy in the court. I thought he got banged in the back there in that lele, but uh, they caught nothing. I thought it was off the That was sampling. He took that three. 5 10 to go, coach. 23 21. And Strubing Green is checking to the game. And Sanford and Trent Randall will be checking out of the game. And also, even though he gave him the thumbs up, Coach, he, he Coach took Rutland out and gave him a break. <laughs> that was a wise decision. Yeah. Especially with the closeness of this game right now. I mean, you're not out of it. Right. You stretch your imagination. You could buy some time right here with a two-point lead. That's right. We got 503 to go. Oh, my son's birthday up there now. Wow. Um, Wow, 23 today. <laughs> Odell. Bobs and Weeds finds a teammate. Off the backboard. Strub knocks Strub it, knocks it in. That's his first three of the game. He knocked down 30 this season. Buzz Sheen. I wonder if Coach may do a little offensive, defensive um, substitution down the stretch here with Rutland. Just to try to get him in, give him some offensive looks. Green is unbunching. A little help defense. But that's, Sabres defense is very good with the help. Long three. Here's the posterior. Odell rebound. Pushes it. This is what Odell's hard to stop right here, yes, Coach. He is. Got the foul here. 26-21 advantage for the Sabres. 4-13 to go. Odell will go to the line to try to increase the lead here. He's a 74.3% free throw shooter, 34th in section two in free throw percentage. And that foul is on Jacob Vanderhoof, his first. That's the team's fourth. And like I just stated earlier, Rutland will be checking in, so coach is going to go a little offensive, defensive substitution here. Knocks in the first free throw. He got to the free throw line this season 167 times. He also dropped 625 points on the season. Second one rolls out. Nice spin move. Gets the foul. Count the bucket. 27-23. Black horses draw a little closer. 405 left to go. Danny Shrub, his first team's second team foul. And he'll go to the line and complete the three-point play here. It's good. He completes it the old-fashioned way. 
The 63% free throw shooter. They keep hanging around here. The Scholar Beer Black Horses are hanging around here, Coach, making definitely a game of it about it, about it thus far. Under four minutes to play, Coach. 27-24, Sabres are up. Randall gets the ball to Green. Green gets it to Struby. Wide open, Randall. Off the backboard, no good. Odell rips it away. I think he'll call a jump off anything on that one. He called a foul, hitting in the wrist. I'm sure the Black Horses would take that. We got 344 to go. 27-24. First team, four, team foul on Odell, coach. Yes, and Rutland checks back in the game here, so the coach is definitely playing a little offensive defensive switch here with Rutland to keep him out of getting his third foul. Only thing you got to worry about now is not picking up no charge or anything like that. Oh, he gets right in and starts firing away. He gets partially blocked by Boyle, I believe. Probably can stay on the bench for that. <laughs> Odell attacks. Nobody gonna stop this guy at the, the half-court line? I mean, you serious? This guy makes one cut, and all of a sudden he's in the interior, and he's scoring at the basket. Getting his 11 knocks and his 11 point at the half. We're nearing 3.05 to play in the second quarter. Good feed inside. Oh, too many steps. Great defense by LJ Randall. That's the Black Horse's fifth turnover of the half. Rutland takes a seat. You're right, Cole. They're doing that defensive offensive thing. Yeah, well, if they do that, he can't be taking three pointers like he's Joe Girard the third. <laughs> I hear that. One extra pass to the Struby in the corner. Gets it out to Odell. Odell gets fouled up top. We're gonna take it out of bounds here. On the team's 15 foul. We got two more to go before they get in the bonus. 2.42 to go. That foul's on Paul Harsh Harshberg Barger. His first team's fifth team foul. Ordell surveys the floor, gets to the Struby. Oh, an extra pass to Boy. Boy for three. Boy don't knock down. Boy don't even knock down eight three pointers. Long rebound here by Harshberger. On the season. Oh, why do you take the first three? Why do you take the step back? You're open. Ball rebounds it. Gets it out to Randall. Gets it, gets it down low. A little forced turnover there. That's Odell the, trying to save his teammate. Saber six turnover of the game. That was Austin Redmond who threw that ball away. 6'2", junior forward. Lefty spots up. No good. Randall pops it out of his hand. Gets it out, swing the ball around the horn. Oh, good ball movement there. Redmond goes up, too many steps, happy feet going the other way. They had to coach. That ball movement was very nice to see. Wasn't that beautiful ball movement? Unfortunately, he's over the turnover, and that's the Sabres' seventh turnover. The half, and the One, Black Horses have five. 141 to go, Coach. 29-24. The Black Horses will not go away quietly. We got Foothills versus Colonial right here. Sabres are for Colonial, and the Black Horses are from the Foothills. Oh. Rutland spots up, knocks it in. Nice little move right there by Rutland. The offensive, defensive substitution is working for them right now. He came a little closer this time too, didn't he, coach? Yes, he Left did. hand throw up by Randall, able to go down. He got fouled on the way up. This ref here is blowing his whistle a lot here, coach. Yeah, he's making sure it works. <laughs> he gets him on the tip. Randall going to the line for two. I almost, almost he needs a uniform. Where he play, I mean, he's blowing like he's part of the game, coach. <laughs> First one's up, no good. 74.3% free throw shooter, misses the first one. 6'3", senior, senior guard. Randall trying to extend the lead. Right now it's 29-26 with 105 in the clock, and the Sabres are up. He misses both.
And they 50 50 from the line right now. Coach, the Sabres are three for six. Wow. 50 factor is full effect. And on the other end, Black Horse is three for three, haven't missed one yet. Mm. Work the ball around, get it inside, kick it back out to Rutland. Rutland gets an extra pass inside the paint. He gets fouled. That's Jack uh, Niemer. He gets fouled going to the basket. So Niemer picks up his first and team's fourth. So Niemer goes, no, to, Niemer the goes to the line, right? Yes, he does. So. Try to complete the three-point play here. Tie the game, essentially. So that was Jake Stanford that picked up that foul, though, right? Yes, it was, coach. Okay. Had a chance to tie the game here and then get it done. And we get a foul here that will send Odell to the line. And that foul is on Jake Bonner, his first. Team seven, so Odell go to the line shooting the bonus. And Coach Kid Rutland's back in the game. Now he's been working out for Coach. The offensive defenses are tough to choose down the stretch. has been working out for him. Yes, it has. At least he knows he can work late in the game, too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> if, if it comes to it. Right. And Coach Time out. Greg Rui Cano wants a timeout to talk about it. He takes the 30. With 35.8 seconds to go. 29, 28. So we got a one-in-one -one situation here. 35.8 on the clock. Nobody in line for the Sabres, coach. Yeah, I was just thinking that to myself, and I, you know, I'm always like a little bit baffled by that because you taking a taking away an opportunity for offensive rebound. Knocks both of them in. 74.3% free throw shooter. The shot clock and game clock is basically identical. 31-28. They changed up the defense here by the Sabres. Got Odell to be in the corner here. Nice and high, extended ball at the foul line. Oh, nice oh. move right there. Goes up, unable to go down. And now get a chance to get that shot off. Halftime score is 31-28, coach. Your thoughts? My thoughts right now is that you're in for a nice matchup. Looks like it's gonna be coming down to a really game to the battle to the finish to the end. So you gotta give Scarletville a lot of clutch if the Black Horses coming here and they're battling. You have Rutland, man. Rutland's been pouring on. <laughs> yes, he has. So Rutland is keeping him afloat on the one end. You know, Odell is being Odell and Randall is doing what he needs to do. So right. it makes for a nice matchup as we go into the second half to see who will nip and tuck, extend the lead, battle, whatever, what have you. We'll see as we move forward in this contest. Okay, we'll see you in the second half. About to start the second half. Sabres start with the ball. Black Horses come up in the 3-2 zone. Got a stoppage of play here. I didn't quite catch that, Coach. It was a kick. Oh, OK, kick ball. Ball's triggered in by Struby. LJ Randall gets it. Top of the kitty. Start the offense. And the 3 2 defense here, coach? Yeah. Oh, dump high low, coach. And he gets hit on the wrist. Odell, wish you could have that one back. We'd have put a little more strength on that one. Here we go to the line. And that looks like that's going to be on Rutland. Oh, man. That's going to be an issue, coach. That's going to be an issue. Yeah, he's chatting with his assistant coaches now what to do right now. I think a coach tried to do the, um, the defense and try to hide him, and it's still caught up to him. Yeah, it did. And um, he's talking to him now about what, what's going on, what we're going to need to do, what you need to do to stay in this game right now. You have to be in the game. We need you relevant. You can't afford to pick up your fourth. You're going to have to play foul-free basketball for the next seven minutes and 30 seconds of the third period. That trap didn't hurt them at all. Odell blows both free throws. 
the 74.3% free throw shooter. Rutland spots it. In and out. Odell. Right now. <laughs> yeah, Odell gets it. In and out. They finally stop him, coach. They stop Odell from getting all the way to the rack. That must have been talking about making a halftime adjustments. Yeah. Stop this guy from getting in the crevices so easy. Truby spots up. Looks sure. Nothing but oxygen. Bushing goes all the way to the rack, lays it up. Boomershine? He looked determined. Boomershine looked determined on that one, coach. And the Sabres are coming, I mean, the Black Horses are coming out with a different type of intensity, coach, off the rip. Randall, unable to go down. Ordell rebounds it, finds Green. Green left hand, late, late, unable to go down. Gets his rebound, throws it up, unable to go down again. Yeah, Tipped I, around. Coach, I see, see a difference. I see a team, I see a um, Black Horse team who look very confident coming out. Momentum looks to be swinging their way. Good ball fake. Oh, good deny there by Boyle, coach. He pushes the break himself. Doesn't look too confident that dribble, but he does, does, he does get the job done. Doesn't look like the strongest of ball handlers there. Randall comes to save his teammate. And, and just like the Sabres are out of sync right now. Yeah, Struby spots up again. Unable to go down. Ordell rips it away. Oh, no, oh, he doesn't. That's Boyle on the end. Boyle couldn't take travel in. One point lead by Saber still with 5.45 to go. Out of control. Bubble machine. Oh, this is. Too much air on it. Little, the game's getting really sloppy right now, coach. Really sloppy right now, yes, coach. Turnover by the Black Horses. That's their seventh turnover of the game. That was on Sherman. Went up for the shot, decided to change his mind, put the ball on the floor while you know, too late. Travel, happy feet, going another way. 5.25 to go, third quarter. Odell slices through. Finger roll, no good. Gets in the hole when he wants. Yeah, he does. And a turnover here. Kicks it up to Green. Green gets it. Lele's. Good pass by LJ Randall. Rutland gets it. Spots up and it rattles in. You see why you need that guy in the court, coach? No question about it. He's one of the best players. He's one of the better players in the court right now. Not even close. Contact there on Odell on that, on that little jump hook there, coach. I know some of the fans didn't see it that way. Odell's been, it might, might not be a bad foul, coach, because Odell's been struggling to foul at all night. Yes, yes, he has, coach. He's actually three for six with the 50 50 factor. And he's still struggling. He even picks up his first team second of the half here in the second half. Finally gets one to go down. 34-32. Two-point advantage for the Sabres over the Black Horses with 4.30 to go. Yeah, he stepped. Oh, go a block. Block the foul right there. That's Odell's second, team's first of the second half. Four nineteen to go. Rutley gonna check it in for the Black Horses. They're walking around. They're working around the horn. Oh, Rutley from deep. Nothing but air ball. Got a rebound by his team. Oh, good pass inside. Unable to go down. Randall avoids the contact. He gets to the rack. 36-32. Like the Sabres found their little scruples about themselves now, coach. A little bit. Putting their stuff back together. And now the Black Horses have to see where they're at now. Good closeout, high hand. Hits the posterior, rebound green. Oh 
Wide open, Strube is he getting knocked one down here. In and out. Rebound, Rutland. Strube has not been able to get one to fall. I mean, he got one, but yeah. he hasn't been falling for him. Oh, he nice drives on right Boyle, there. kicks it out to Rutland, who's wide open, left wing, too strong. Rebound, Boyd. Ordell gets it. And the Sabres, the uh, Blackhawks have had some opportunities here. Coach. Ordell avoids the contact again, unable to go down. Got a timeout here by the Black Horses. It's a good timeout by that Black Horse there, Coach. Yes, coach. It is, coach. <laughs> He's on top of things over there. Yes, he is. Steen, Steen fourth. The Black Horse is there, Coach. Wants to talk some things over. Coach, you got to be pretty happy about what his, you know, what his team is doing right now, right? You got to be pretty pleased, don't you, you think? You got to be pleased to be in this game right now and what they're doing right now. And it might not be a bad timeout because they have been coming up short on the offensive end a little bit. So it could be a attrition, it could be out of syncness, it could be a number of things. However, it's a good timeout, get them settled, maybe draw something in the huddle, get them a good possession, get them a good look or something, knock something down, and it's even closer in this game. Figure it in. Black horses. Budishin. I say his name right, Coach Budishin? Yeah, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to stick with that. OK. I heard the announcer say it. Gets it to Budishin again. He knocked down seven three-pointers in the season, Coach. We got eight seconds on the shot clock here. They got to do something here. Gets a little crease. Oh, good closeout. High hand. Oh, Rutland's the guy. That's not what you wanted coming out of a timeout, I'll tell you that much. No. And that's their Rutland. ninth turnover of the game. Rutland was definitely uh, gun shy on that one there, Coach. You got to let that go right there. It's better to get a tip the shot than a turnover like that. Give yourself a chance to get an offensive rebound and all kinds of sorts of things. Randall tells Truby to go through. Odell wide open, unable to go down. Green battles it. Odell, I'm going to say Randall gets it. Go the other way. The Sabres were attacking that glass there, Coach. They, are. they had many attempts at it. This couldn't go down for him. And as soon as Odell missed his shot, he was right in there. Yeah. He in battle. He hasn't had something drop for him in a little bit, Coach. Yeah, yeah. And these Sabres guys, these black horses, I'm sorry, they can't be gun shot. They got to let it go. I mean, that's the bottom line. You can't be gun shot here. Don't get tight here. It's not the time to get tight. Keep playing, keep letting playing loose, letting it go. Oh yeah, I heard that. Pity pack. Happy feet going another way. And that's a and that's a result of them being tentative, coach. Why did they get tentative all of a sudden? They were just I, it, what happened? What changed that quick? They were flowing. It's one of those things where you talk about when the stand starts getting tight and starts getting close, who's gonna uh yeah, you know, rise emerge, to the yeah. who's gonna emerge? 138 to go. Odell swings it. To Stanford, Stanford. I don't know what that ref saw. And that's their ninth turn over the game. So the same Black Horses have ten. I keep wanting to say the Black Horses have ten, and the Sabres have nine turnovers thus far in the game. Yeah. Six, uh, 36, 32. Advantage for the uh, Sabres with under 120 to go. Bunchy gets lucky there, gets it out. Rutland, ball fakes, gets it to Bunchy. He goes inside, unable to go down. Boyd rebounds it, gets it to Odell. Odell looking to attack. Goes up with the contact. Boyle almost got a steal there. Oh, the spin move. Unable to go down. Gets it to Odell. Odell Lay lays it all the way up. In 38 32 advantage, coach. Under 40 seconds to go. His third first, quarter. That was Odell's first basket from the field in the third period. He came up short in a lot of those point blank um, shots he had. Big shot right here. Budishan hits the posterior, unable to go down. Rutland, he turned down to three. He goes in. Rutland would go to the line and shoot two. That's Randall's first team second, and Rutland has been able to play relatively well with those three fouls, coaches. Yes. Hanging the game. 88.8% free throw shooter. First one's up. 
Good, nothing pure, nothing but net. Is this first point in the second half? No, that's no. Actually, okay. that's his um third point of the second half. He had scored a bucket in the third period. Okay. Early third, right? Here's rather the break. The coach gets him out with the 26 seconds left. Some more substitution there. Then he got two. He got two or three. He got three fouls, right? Yes. Okay, 25 seconds to go. As well. <laughs> wow. Well, the Sabres will be content to hold for one here. Odell drives it all the way to the rack. Got that score. They'll get one off here. Yeah. Oh, got a good quality look at it. Able to go down. 40 to 34. Sabres maintain a six point advantage. Headed into the final stanza, final coach. Final stanza. Here we come. <laughs> Okay, the Black Horses will start the final stanza with the ball. A little pressure here. Oh, got a steal by Odell, who attacks right away with the reverse. And he's got, he's got a game leading score with 20 points, coach. He just eclipsed Caden Rutland, who has 19 for the Black Horses. To my Rutland, who's a sophomore out here, coach, getting it done? Super sophomore out here, getting it done, coach. <laughs> wow. Leading his team. Now, Rutland's still on the bench, isn't he? Yeah, he's starting on the bench right now. I don't know how long Coach is going to sit there with him with an eight-point deficit right now. That foul is on Sanford, his second, and that's team's third. The quiet situation has been relatively... The foul situation has been relatively quiet here. Yeah, Bushin is the 63% free throw shooter. We made one already tonight. And this is data to. Rutland was all set to check in. I figure he's like, I'll wait until we get back on the offensive end rather than put you in going into the defensive transition. Misses both. Boy, get the rebound. Kicks out to Ardell. Can't wait too long, though, coach. A couple transitions up and down the floor can take place. Oh, good look. Down low to Randall. Might want to get a timeout here, coach. Gonna do something. Yes, he did. Right on cue, coach. He gets a timeout. Steen Fort gets a timeout for the Black Horses. We got a 44-34 advantage with 7.14 to go. They got to be very mindful right now of the Sabres getting, extending this lead and potentially running away with this game before you know it. So right now, you want to definitely get Rutley back in the game and you want him from execution. So right now, you got to be drawing up something that can hopefully get you something um, to get you back into this game a little closer. All right. Okay, Black Horses, trigger it in. Rutland, the sophomore's back in the game, Coach, for the Black. Oh, turns it over! Coach can't be excited about that. Come out of a timeout. LJ goes up, unable to go down. He gets his own rebound. Ordell gets it, and he puts it in. Okay, the rebound and party. Now, guys, are just that much bigger than anybody else. You got 6'5 and 6'4, coach, battling with a rebound. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> Black Horses need a bucket here. Because now it's the Sabres who the intensity and momentum has picked up. They got to find a sophomore, coach. They got to find, they got to find Rutland. They got to get him looked. And that's their 12th turnover of the game. So they're starting to mount up these turnovers here. Skip pass by Odell, off the fingers of Struby. Find, Odell finds the crevices in the middle. Gets the stolen. Oh, wow, he's out battle Randall for that one. Boyle gets a hand on it. It's a lot of sloppy play right yeah, here. Yeah, the ball is loosey-goosey. Spots up for three, unable to go down. Same team, Odell gets it from his teammate, Boyle. Boyle. Oh, Odell, <laughs> that's a smart player. Yes, oh, is. wow. They starting to break their will right now, Coach. 48, 34, with 5, 57 to go, fourth quarter. Okay, ball's triggered in. The Black Horses need to desperately score here, Coach. Yeah, Coach. 5.50 to go. 
Rutland has the ball. The sophomore versus sophomore there, coach. Yeah, it was. Oh, he left Rutland open. Help defense, good. This guy is shifty, coach. Odell with the rebound. Stays strong. Gives it to Randall. Oh, good defense there on the outside. There by uh, Budishan. That deflection um, uh, you know, broke the concentration of Randall there. And it goes off his fingers, his fingers are out of bounds. And that was actually a good look ahead by Odell there. Yes, it was. Rutland with a swing. I, I probably want Rutland to shoot everything right now, Coach. Yeah, you ain't never lied, because nobody else has been able to be on the market. Oh, they battle for that boy. The okay, boy is a solid player, Coach. He a lot of tips. Oh, baby, Randall gets his own rebound. Loses the ball. Out of bounds. 5'11 on the clock, Coach. Nobody scored the last couple of moments. So that works in the favor of Schuylerville in a way. If they can only get a bucket. Rutland gets it, spots up, in, goes in, shot by Sherman. It's way to come through with your first bucket of the game. Cuts into the lead, coach. Gives it down 11. Oh, good look oh. inside. Kick out to uh, Trenton. Trenton, oh, knocks down a three. He gets it back, coach. Uh, from his brother. That's a sophomore. That's big brother right there. Yeah, coach. Rutland gets it, looks at it. It's a deflection. Oh, back to back threes? Comes up short, rebound. Stan Sanford. Gives it to Randall. Gives it to Sanford. Sanford. Oh, drives it in. 6 1 junior guard. He'll be back next year. Drives it in strong. He got a nice little frame on him, coach. He does. First one's up, good. He made all his points tonight on, on the free throw line, right? Am I wrong? Three from three for that thus far. The 73.9% the 73 free throw shooter, coach. Knocking him down tonight. Get a sub here. Jack Neymar, Neymar takes a seat for the uh, Schuylerville Black Horses. Oh, Jake Sanford misses the second one. 52-37 advantage for the Shellmont Sabres. Budishan penetrates, Rutland gets the ball, fakes it. Oh, he gets a tip from behind. Gives it up to Trent, Trent drives it into the basket, no good. Jake too strong, Odell gets it and puts it back in. Oh boy, I'll tell you one thing. Odell know how to run the floor to get those, those buckets, Coach. He sure does. He's a uh. those offensive glass right now. He has 26 points for the game, Coach. Game high score. Nice, a nice little bling right here for the Sabres team. I mean, they stay steady. They were challenged a little bit. They stayed within themselves, didn't get out you know, of themselves, didn't get worried or any panicky or anything like that. Played a steady game and started the one way. Now they have a 17 point lead with 33 minutes here to go. So obviously they'll be moving on to the next round. Um, valiant effort, valiant fight by the Black Horses, though. And Boyle there with the putback. Pull up, knocks it down. Harsh Barger. This third three of the game. They extend the pressure. Team seventh of the game. Oh, and Bish sharing that rock here, coach. Jake Sanford. On a lay lay. In line lay lay there, coach. Way to spread the floor by the Sabres. Deep three by Ashberger. No good that time. Ashberger, I'm sorry. Ordell got a, coach, he got double dividends and rebounds, coach. Yes. Not even close. He oh, probably he got double. Me on yeah, I about to say that. <laughs> Ordell drops it in. Ordell, Ordell three ball hasn't been dropping, but he's been doing other things, Coach. Yeah, he got 28 points. 28, wow. And Trent Randall gets the rebound with 2.05 to play. 
kicks it to Stanford. Ardell. Loses the handle, tracks it back down. Shoots the three here, so coach. Why not? Oh, in and out. Rutland gets the ball. Coach Luciano will go to the um, bench now to bring some guys in who haven't played. And so are the Black Horses. They over here, they got a host of subs over at the table ready to go to as well. And Luciano you know, takes a 30 second timeout to get those guys to win the game. 135 on the clock. 20 point advantage for the Sabres. 60 to 40. Well, yeah, we definitely gotta make sure we get eyes on that Rutland kid. I mean, that kid, he showed some things here tonight, coach. He was the one that was keeping him close early on in the game, coach. Yes. Yeah, he had 19 points. He didn't score in the fourth quarter, but he definitely... Stanford knocks it in. Yeah, I like him, coach. He's, he's a smooth lefty. A smooth lefty that can knock down the three ball, coach. He can handle the rock as well. He's pretty creative, and he's a strong player, coach. Nice build on him as well. Yes, I like absolutely. to see him. I'm, I'm gonna be very interested to see how this guy pans out. Absolutely, coach. I totally agree with you on that kid right there. Drives it in, no good. That was uh, Peyton Hosner who got that rebound, gives it to Trenton. Trenton, Randall scores the Lele. So the Sabres empty their, their tired bench now. Rutland shows a little razzle-dazzle, kicks it out to Van Dor Hoof. No good. Rutland spots at the top of the key, comes up short, rebound by Jack Numer, kicks it out to a teammate. No good. Uh, Van Der Hoof knocks it in for the Black Horses. 20 seconds to go, 65-42. Coach, who do these guys play next? Do you remember? Because we know that, we do know Glens Falls is going to be playing Water Relief. Yeah, I don't know. And I think that these guys might play Catskill. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm projecting, Coach. Yeah. So it should be interesting to see how this, how this pan out. I think both teams are going to meet up at, up at Glens Falls, Coach. So the, 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 the score here is 65-42. And the Sabres walk out here and put a, a pretty impressive win in the fourth quarter, Coach. Yeah, because the game was actually in, closer than the score will indicate. You know, this, uh, Black Horses definitely gave a valiant effort. Yes, they did. They kept it close, especially in the first half. I think it was like a five or something point differential in the first half. And it just came out, it was too much Odell. He finished the game with 28 points. And it just became too much of him along with Randall. And other guys started to chip in there. So, but you got to get your hats off to Rutland. He tried to keep his, his squad close, along with a cast of other players, with Harshberger, those guys trying to chip in, and also um, Nick but, but, Bunchy. But in the end, it was not to no avail. The Sabres came in, showed why they've been state ranked all year as high as two, and they will move on and c continue to compete on in the sectional playoff round. Okay, Coach. Hope to see you guys tomorrow in the double-A action. So um, we see you guys next time. Take care.